Hey there everyone. So this time I'll be reviewing three books. Um, Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales, Tales of Dragons and Monsters and um, The World of Edina. It's from Mobius Library. So yeah. <clears throat> so the first book I'll be um, reviewing is Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales. Now this is there are a lot of editions of Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales. This is um, illustrated by Miles Kelly, and uh, this is I don't think this contains all the stories and they are fairly abridged as well. But then um, in my opinion, uh, this is just a personal opinion. Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales are uh, I mean mostly from the Grimm's uh, original fairy tales and they are changed anyways. So. I, I, I rather wanted one that was uh, full of nice pictures. <laughs> I'm a big fan of pictures. In case you have seen any of my other videos, you know that. So, I got this one instead. And I must say, it's a delight to read. Um, so, it, the book is, uh, like, the contents, you can check the contents. Like, it has The Little Mermaid, Five from One Pod, Shepherd is and the Chimney Sweep, Jack the Idiot, The Toad, and... I mean, you can go through that. And it is full of beautiful uh, stories with beautiful uh, illustrations. So, these are the stories. And they are uh, differentiated in different parts. <coughs> and they are not the full stories. I'd be, I'd be very honest with you. But then, I mean, these are for... And... I mean, I love them. I know these are for children. Look, <laughs> Hans Christian Andersen's a little about Hans Christian Andersen is like two pages with huge fonts and uh, very big spacings. But then I loved it. So this is the artwork for the Little Mermaid, and look at the side illustrations. Like the side illustrations change for different stories the snow queen that's the side illustration and then the same for the elf hill i guess i think it's it's depending on the section so let's check yeah it's depending on the section side illustrations change depending on the section <coughs> the teapot so a few more uh, illustrations this is the money pig the butterfly it's a beauty in my opinion it's a beautiful book and i think um, it's for children i mean it's 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 meant for children the font size and the whole book is designed for children but personally i loved it i think it is one of the best editions of hans christian andersen's fairy tales that i have ever seen and i'm very glad to have got this i got this for around 350 or so and that was pretty cheap <clears throat> and this is the back explore 50 enchanting tales from one of the most famous storytellers of all time and more than 500 beautifully illustrated pages of timeless tales and really the illustrations are very beautiful I would uh, definitely ask you to check this out if you are interested in gifting your if gifting someone small or even if you are like me and want it for yourself uh, the front is glittering it's like uh, made of, I don't know if it's that visible, but it's like the flex cover with uh, glitters. It's like fairy tales and fairy glitter. Very apt, I would say. And um, that's the Little Mermaid. So that's about it for Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales. I'll try to link these books in the description uh, so that you can check them out from... The Amazon Indian Amazon website. So by Miles Kelly again, Tales of Dragons and Monsters. This also glitters. The letters Dragons and Monsters glitter, and that looks like smog. But <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> so yeah, this book's yeah, you can even actually write someone's name. This book belongs to so on. Compiled by Tig Thomas. So the contents are again um, divided into different parts. This is scales and tails. 
the sea serpent, Hercules and the Hydra and so on then gruesome giants and awful ogres and there's boggards, trolls and goblins tooth and claw weird and wonderful beasts and then the story starts scales and tales <clears throat> so um, I've read quite a few from this book not finished the whole book but I love the stories the artwork is <clears throat> beautiful like the previous book and um, <clears throat> the stories are presented in a very child friendly way but then I loved it myself so I got it for myself it's not for a child for me in, in my case so each section has <clears throat> its own artwork and it's presented in a different way like that was the goblins this is the three little pigs and the ogre and then the sphinx this is the sphinx and look at the sectional artworks the page margins page margins change from section to section this is another section tooth and claw the story is so yeah the end uh, end it's like prepare to enter the dragon slayer this fiercely entertaining collection includes tales by Joseph Jacobs and Edith Nesbitt and gripping illustrations bring dragons goblins and ogres to life and I would have to agree I would uh, link this in the description and for the third book so yeah if you have not heard about this book I would definitely suggest to you to check this out this is one of the most interesting books I have read in the graphical novel variety Mobius, it's from Mobius Library, The World of Edina. So, this is, this is <clears throat> very unique in its artwork, in its storytelling and the whole storyline. So, it's written and illustrated by Jean Jean Mobius Girard. Uh, he's a very famous guy, if, in case you haven't heard of him. And <clears throat> the story is bizarrely... Um, how would I put it? It's very abstract and very different. Look at the artwork. So the original storyline in the original storyline, uh, Mobius said that he created the. There's a there's a very um, there's a story here. Yeah. So this was originally created as a part of um, a campaign, I guess, and then he decided to make it into a full-fledged story, and this is where it starts. The story starts. This was a <clears throat> different um, story that was originally a prototype for the uh, world of Edina they were created as androgynous characters but then as the story progresses they develop into uh, males and females and the story is very very um, very beautiful uh, yeah very beautiful and the artwork is very different from anything that you would previously encounter for example <clears throat> and it's extremely aesthetic the book is extremely aesthetic I would definitely suggest to you to give this a read if you have not read this uh, it's a combination of sci-fi no I'd not say anything else it's basically sci-fi only no fantasy and um, So <clears throat> it's a very interesting story and it's pretty complex as well like um, it's very um, differently segmented than most of your stories but it's definitely worth the read. And uh, that's about it let me know if you want some more pictures of this book or have any other questions or any suggestions so Mobius library the world of Edina <clears throat> and uh, 
that's about it for this video uh, thank you happy reading